Hey everyone, good morning. So today we're going to be doing another birthday wear test and we're going to be using or wearing, testing, you know, uh, the Wet n Wild Dewy Photo Focus Foundation. I picked mine up from Ulta. It was six dollars and I think like 50 cents and I got the shade Soft Beige. We'll see if it's the right color match but I already did my eye makeup and I put on sunscreen and I use primer on the left side of my face because this is the side I talk on the phone with so we'll do a good test that way and then the right side of my face is just sunscreen. And we got to hurry because I'm running a little late today but this is what the foundation looks like. It still has that weird paddle thing. Okay, um, I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit on. I feel like I should not have done that. That's kind of gross. Honestly, I just hope that the color matches okay. It's a little warm. So that's what it looks like with just a little bit and it's definitely pretty light coverage so i'm just gonna go in with a little bit more on the side now i don't want to do a ton of foundation because that's just not my look for work i'm very much like an easy going girl when it comes to my work makeup and i want my skin to look like skin oh and the cat just went flying the foundation is blending out really really nice hi bentley um and it does look like skin. Even looking at it on my viewfinder, I feel like this just looks nice and refreshed, which is usually the look I'm going for because I do have dry skin um, and I want my skin to look as luminous and healthy and glowy as possible. Kind of like that glass skin thing. Y'all know. So this so far is looking really, really good. I know. We have the foundation today. Okay, anyways, distracted. Gotta say, I think my color match is good. Yay. And the finish looks freaking amazing. So, I am a happy camper. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit along my jawline because the color might be a smidge warm. I'm just going to kind of blend that down and hope for the best. Okay, so this is what the foundation looks like. Honestly, I'm super pleased so far. It's that perfect amount of glow where you don't look greasy or sparkly, but you still look glowy and healthy. So, that looks really good. I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my face. Like I said, I'm running a little late today, so I'm going to hurry, um, and I'll be right back with my finished result. Okay, so I'm done with my makeup, and Bentley's apparently done with me, um, and so far I'm really enjoying everything. I think everything looks really good. The foundation mixed well with all my other products, and in case you're wondering what I'm wearing for work today, uh, for my eyes, I use my Physicians Formula palette. Which one is this? This is the Sultry Nights. And I use my Thrive Cosmetics Mascara, obviously this foundation, my e.l.f. concealer, Marc Jacobs bronzer, this blush, a cookie highlighter because this is my favorite, you know, the usual stuff. Um, but so far I'm really, really impressed. Now it is currently da, 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 7.40, so I need to get dressed because I cannot wear my, what does it say, a professional napper shirt to work because that's a little um, not professional. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll check back in with you guys in a couple of hours. Okay, so I am at work and I know I was saying I was running late and I'm one of those people where I'm like forever obnoxiously early. Well, it's currently 8.30 and I don't really technically need to be at work until 9. So I'm still 30 minutes early even though I'm like, I'm late. Anyways, let's talk about the foundation. So this is what it looks like in natural sunlight. It's a little overcasty today, um, but honestly i think my skin looks really really good and even looking up close in the mirror i think i mean yeah it looks pretty dang good this is like the finish i would expect of a high-end foundation and i really like the fact that it doesn't feel like a cheap foundation on my face i know that was an issue i had with their original is it kind of felt like paint on your face and it smelled really bad uh this one does not have either of those it feels just 
great, honestly, on the skin. Uh, but one thing I will say that I forgot to mention that I'm a little concerned about is I have watched a couple review videos and I've heard a few people say that the lasting power on this foundation isn't the best. So we shall see how it works out. Hopefully I don't look like a uh, haggard, even though I'm sure I will. Hopefully I don't look bad by the end of the day. Uh, but like I said, it's 8.30. I got to go into work and I will see you guys later this afternoon. Bye. Hey y'all, so uh, long time no talk. It is currently 6.21 in the afternoon. I'm finally home from work. Uh, it was a crazy day. Not to mention it's super humid outside today, so don't mind my hair. But today at work was insane. I didn't have two seconds to do a quick clip of what my face looked like midday, so I apologize. However, with all the craziness, something like kind of wild happened. Long story short, somebody got upset with me, but it was not my fault, and I guess they realized it wasn't my fault. And I got, I'm sorry, flowers so got some pretty tulips which was nice um but anyways let's talk about the foundation also don't mind the room it's like a disaster but story of my life so let's talk foundation so it's been about 11 hours since I put on my face and I will say I do feel a little greasy honestly and I notice on this cheek you can even kind of see it here where the foundation totally rubbed off I mean you can see the line of where my blush and stuff was so that's really cute but this is the side talk on the phone so that kind of makes sense even though I did use a primer over here obviously didn't do too much but on this side I think it looks much much better so that's good um and then on the forehead it looks good too like overall i'm happy with it especially for it being a six dollar foundation we're good um but do i think it's like the most amazing look at the end of the day i mean i think it's better than like an average foundation i like the finish of it i like the feel of it even though i do feel a little greasy right now but you know earlier in the day and probably i would say six hours into my work day, i was feeling good then again it was super humid today though i think the high was like almost 90 so it was kind of weird for florida for this time of year at least um but i don't know something about the finish of it right now i feel like i look a little undone but overall i mean i think it's it's fine and for six dollars not a bad option overall about the foundation i think it's good um i just think that the lasting power isn't 100 percent there so if you do have super long days and you want to make sure that your skin looks good then this might not be your best or maybe just use it with a gripping primer i'm going to try that tomorrow and see how that works um but if you have more oily skin i do not think it'll hold up whatsoever so i would avoid this if you have oily skin but i'm going to try it with a gripping primer tomorrow and i'll let you guys know how that works because i think that could really be the key here because i mean it looks like okay but i think it could definitely look better so i'm gonna go ahead tyler's cooking dinner if you can hear that i'm gonna go ahead and have dinner i'm gonna use the gripping primer tomorrow and we'll talk then good morning everyone so it's the next day i'm about to leave for work um it's currently what time is it 7 17 bright and early gotta get to work extra early today because i actually have to do stuff in the a.m lucky me but anyways, the foundation, round two, I think it looks really, really good right now. And I did use a gripping primer, like I said. So I used this J1 Jelly Pack, which I really, really like. I got this from Sephora, but I don't think they sell it there anymore. Whoops. But anyways, this is what my face looks like. And I think it looks really, really good. But the real test will be how it lasts throughout the day because that was kind of the issue yesterday so anyways it is cold outside today hence my sweater and actually i'll show you guys my outfit because i think it looks real real cute i have this little sweater that i think i got from tj maxx this skirt is from j crew it's a little big but we'll make it work some tights and then my little booties that are from target from forever ago but with that said mr kit kat is right here hi Hi, I know you wanted to mess with it. But with that said, gotta go to work and I will see you guys in a couple hours. Mr. Kit Kat, do you wanna go to work? No? But you have pet rent. You have to pay it. Bentley, are you ready to go to work? Yes, yes. Okay, now we're actually gonna go. Okay, so I'm back home. It is currently a little after 6.30. I stopped at Target because I wanted to get a new planner for work because I realized the planner I'm using, it's like a daily style and I really need something a little bit more monthly, but 
that's besides the point. Didn't find anything I like there. Is it just me or the planners at Target? Do they not believe in lines? Because I don't have nice handwriting. If I don't have lines, it's not a good situation. But I did find a new dress there that was really, really cute. Gotta say, Target spring stuff is really nice right now. But anyways, back to the topic at hand, this foundation. So we have been wearing our face for 11 hours right? Oh, and Tyler's making dinner. So if you can hear him, I apologize, but he's making burgers and I'm super excited about it. Um, but anyways, we've been doing our face for 11 hours. I've been putting in my hair and honestly, my face looks so much better compared to what it looked like this time yesterday. The primer really, really made this work for me, which I really appreciate because I do really like the finish. It feels like I'm wearing nothing. And I think I even mentioned earlier, I got a compliment on my skin today, not on my makeup, but on my skin, which is like my favorite kind of compliment. And I think that says a lot about the foundation that it doesn't look like makeup. It just makes your skin look really, really good. So after two days of testing it, I got to say this fun wild dewy photo focus foundation is where, is where it's at. Yes, I have been so clumsy today. Anyways, super, super digging it. But with that said, definitely isn't the most long lasting foundation. So if you do wanna wear it for a full work day or just a full day in general, definitely wear a proper primer. For me, gripping primers really do the trick. It really holds on to any foundation and it just keeps my face looking good throughout the day. It doesn't matter what foundation I'm using. So that's kind of my two cents on it um, if you have more oily skin even with a gripping primer i'm not sure how well it's going to hold up so if you have oily skin and you have used the dewy foundation let me know how it works for you but for me i'm really really pleased and i definitely plan on continuing to use this it's not going to be a foundation that just collects dust in my collection um so yay and need i remind you it was six dollars and fifty cents Yes, please. Okay, so that is everything for this evening. I have to be at work again early tomorrow because we have another presentation. We have like three presentations tomorrow. So busy day, but it's Friday, so that's exciting. So I'm gonna go eat dinner, put on some PJs, watch some TV and wind down, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, and if you like the series, this will be a workday wear test series, let me know what you wanna see tested next in the comments down below. Um, and if you want to see my other video, I'll put the playlist right up here or if you just want to watch a different video of mine put that video right there and if you haven't already do subscribe you can hit the little circle here um, it's free it makes my day and I greatly appreciate it but with that said I gotta go and I will see you guys next time